hello welcome back to our virtual class it's me your math teacher once again i'm here to teach you math in our previous class we have done the division of uh, five digit number by a two digit number and uh, in that class we have solved only one question there so today we are going to solve uh, two more questions from the same exercise that is exercise 26 okay that is exercise uh, 26 uh, this is the question number uh, e i have written here okay so here uh, 56 is the divisor 86587 uh, 86587 e, uh, is the dividend here so let us uh, see for uh, sorry let us see for this uh, first two digit number okay that is 86 now what is the nearest number of uh, 56 then what is the nearest number of 56 that is 60 okay rounding nearest when we round the nearest uh, uh, 10 of uh, 56 then we will get 60 okay 60 is our uh, number nearest to uh, 10 of 56 number okay so how many 60 might be there in 86 uh, of course 160 because uh, two times of 60 is 120 so it is not possible to subtract from 86 isn't it so let us go by 1 56 1 is 56 so let us subtract uh, and uh, let's get the remainder now okay we have another next number that is 5 bring down 5 now let us uh, imagine how many 60s might be there in 305 now the number is 305 and uh, let's try to get the number okay so uh, you can go by uh, 56 uh, fives are okay five six are 30 0 3 5 5 is 25 28 it is 280 it seems to be near uh, to 305 okay so uh, some of you might might have question like why not by six then if uh, you try by six then let us see the product how how uh, how much the product will be there okay 56 into six 6 6 are 36 3 5 6 are 30 31 32 33 336 which is greater than this number so let us go by 5 uh, 56 uh, fives are okay 280 let us subtract to get the reminder now 5 minus uh, 0 is 5 and here uh, and here is yeah 2 okay 2 and now we have another next number that is 8 let us bring down this number 8 okay 50s uh, uh, 5 times of 56 uh, is 280 so uh, it is greater than this number then let us try by 4 now uh, let us try by 4 uh, not here okay here. 56 4 6 are 24 4 2 4 5 are 20 21 22 isn't it now we have to uh, go by the number 4 4 times of 56 is 224 so write 4 as a quotient 2 2 4 now let us subtract okay now let us subtract to get the uh, number here uh, 8 minus uh, 4 is 4 uh, 5 minus 2 is 3 okay now we have another next number okay that is uh, 7 so bring down 7 here okay here you can see 
6 times of 56 is 336 so uh, this number is suitable here to subtract so let us try uh, by 6 here 56 uh, 6 times of uh, 56 so 6 as a quotient product 336 now subtract now 7 minus 6 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 yes no more number to bring down here so let us rub this no more number to bring down here so 11 is the reminder and uh, the number 1546 is the quotient here and 56 is the divisor simply like uh, as division means the um, repeated subtraction of uh, same number isn't it this is the property of division and uh, suppose if you uh, you can understand in this way also like uh, suppose uh, any portion uh, uh, he has 86,587 rupees okay 87 rupees if you want to distribute the money equally to 56 person are you getting the point means uh, division you can understand in this way also like if any portion he has 86,587 rupees if he wants to divide uh, equally to 56 person then each person will get 1546 rupees okay equal sharing isn't it division is means equal sharing so uh, 1546 each person will get 1546 okay and at last the person will have 11 rupees with him reminder means uh, the person uh, he has 11 rupees with him he distributed money equally to 56 percent okay equal sharing you can understand in this way so let us write the remind uh, quotient first quotient is equal to 1546 and uh, reminder is 11 this is 11 very easy okay now let's try another question yes it's question number 42 64006 now how many 40s might be there in 64 the number 64 how many 40s might be there of course 140 because 2 times of 40 is 80 so it is impossible so 1 times okay 42 let us subtract to get the remainder now 4 minus 2 is 2 and 6 minus 4 is 2 bring down 0 220 now how many is uh, how many 40s are there in number 220 now uh, 5 times of 40 Two, uh, five uh, times of 40 is 200 isn't it so let's try with uh, 5 42 5 5 twos are 10 uh, 5 fours are 20 21 wow okay now we very near to 220 now uh, 42 fives are 210 subtract now okay 10 bring down another zero here now we have number 100 number 100 uh, number now we have number 100 here so 42 how many is 40 might be there please uh, you can guess yourself also two times of 40 is 80 so uh, let us go 42 twos are Two two are four, two fours are eight, eighty-four. Now let us subtract eighty-four from here. Sixteen is the remainder. Okay, sixteen is the remainder. Now let us 
bring down another number we have six uh, number here bring down six now how many uh, 40 might be there in 166 two times of 40 is uh, 80 three times of 40 is 120 isn't it and uh, four times of 40 is 160 so let us try here and by three okay three two are six three fours are twelve one hundred twenty six but some of you might have question why not buy four let's check for uh, to get the product from four also four two two four two are eight four four are sixteen it is one hundred sixty eight it is greater than uh, this number so let us uh, do by three now three 126 subtract now we'll get the remainder 6 minus 6 0 6 minus 2 4 okay 40 is the remainder now we do not have another number 40 is less than 42 our division is done now let us make sentence let us make sentence here suppose any person suppose any person he has 64,006 balls footballs okay footballs suppose let, let's make a sentence here question also we can make here like uh, suppose a person has 64,006 balls footballs and he want to distribute uh, 42 uh, uh balls equally to 42 portion okay if you want to distribute equally to 42 portion then how much uh, ball will each person get okay after division we got uh, the question here means if a person divide uh, these numbers equally to 42 person then each person will get 1523 and at last 40 will remain with that person okay Now let us write quotient here. Quotient. Quotient is one thousand five hundred and twenty-three. Okay. Here, let let me write again. Quotient is one thousand five hundred and twenty-three, and the remainder is forty. Okay, uh, we have done up to this time we have done three questions from exercise 26, isn't it? So uh, in this uh, for exercise 26, uh, there will be two content for you that in uh, part one you will uh, get one question there and in part two you will get two questions solving here. Okay, only this was for today. Bye bye all of you.